that I'm standing here before you this night is a huge risk. I was banished from this land by the king. And I know that his warriors will kill me if they set their eyes on me. But it has become imperative that I come back to this land, my land. It is right to say that the land is passing through a time of desolation and I'm only here to ask just one question. What is our crime? What is our sin? You are the Ani of Nampo and there is nothing we can do without you. I know that I will die someday, but not in exile. I will surely return to the land of my birth. But I do not want to return to a land without inhabitants. What do we do? This, this land is in ruins, ruins because, because men of this land are not asking questions. I, I, I am sure it is the voice of the gods I hear. I submit myself to the supremacy of the gods. Please, tell me those questions that our men are not asking. Please. You have been banished from this land. That I know. You were back in this land because you were worried. Do not be in a hurry to leave this land. Sleep in this land. And before the cock crows are done, you will know what to say. And then what, what you must do would be clear to you. I just passed here now and I didn't see anybody standing here. Who are you please and how did you know my name and my daughter's name? My, my name, name is Gogoyu. I came here today to ask you just one question. question. For, For how long, long are you going, going to sleep? Omoma Awaru of Nanko Kingdom. I, I have not heard that name before and I'm sure we've not met. When, when people, people look into, into the mirror, they see themselves. A time, time is coming, coming in now when, when men will look, look into the mirror and will see strange things. You, you are, are a woman, woman that sits in the position of authority. Do, do something, something about, about this fast. Your, your husband, husband may be confused. And once that one is confused, you are finished. No, no. I actually think you're giving me a message meant for somebody. Are you by any means telling me I don't, don't know you? Eh, uh, you might know me. In fact, you know me because you just called my name and my daughter's name. But there's something you said that is not true. You just called me a woman in authority and I'm not. Gogo Ibo has visited you once. Start in time, time to do something so that, that when next I visit, I visit you again, again it, it will be, be a happy, happy meeting. meeting. Don't, Don't allow, allow me to get, get angry with you. Because, because if I get, get angry with you, you will lose your trouble. What is the matter with you? I, 
had a nightmare. I saw a spirit. She disappeared before me. Spirit. Did, did the spirit say anything to you? Uh, she's a very beautiful woman. Dressed like an Asian queen. She introduced herself to me as Ugebo Ibo, the Omuma Waru of Nanko Kingdom. It is clear to me that you are not Himan. Identify yourself. Do you know the difference between yesterday and tomorrow? I am a hunter of Nanko. I will never be intimidated by any spirit that refuses to identify herself. Right 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 right. I am the, the goddess, goddess of the tribe of Nanko. How dare you attempt to walk out of me? You know my name? What do you want? I am the goddess of the tribe of Nanko. And I am here to tell you that tomorrow is going to be bright in Nanko. But you may have some more courage to heal the wounds of yesterday. What do you mean by heal the wounds of yesterday? I, I see you. I see you. I see you. This is because of the moment of the incident. You may be just a hunter, but you have something big to do with the incident. I want, want to be very sincere with you. If you men do nothing, tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be very black. black. And when, when this happens, you must step, step out and accept it. Don't, Don't allow me to get to that. Do something, something now. now. What would you want us to do? The day is coming, Yomasi, when, when, when you shall see me. Follow me closer, closer to see me, and, and I, I shall, shall take you to the man you seek. What is it? Is there something you're not telling me? Have you heard of her before? What you saw was not a spirit. No, no. She was a spirit. If she wasn't, she would not vanish before me. She disappeared. She disappeared. I didn't see her again. Ukogbe Oibo is a goddess of the scream of Nagwa. Goddess? What does the goddess want from me? Do you know the difference between yesterday and tomorrow? M my husband, this question is really weird. I don't understand. What I will ask you to do is to go back to bed. Sleep. A lot of things are wrong in Nakwa. But it is clear to me that the gods and the goddesses I attempting to solve the problem. But, but how does that concern me? She also said that those of us that sit in position of authority must do something. She said I would not like it if she gets angry with me. I don't understand. How do I come in? What does she want from me? I will make a quest to you now. Go back to sleep. Indeed, tomorrow will surely be bigger than today and yesterday. Hey, that's of Nampo. I have not slept for weeks. My heart is tearing into two. And that is why I call the elders that sit in council with me. For us to know and decide the way forward. Prosperity has been banished from this land. And I ask myself again and again, why is it happening during my time? 
Why? Hmm. Igwe, the three clans that represent Nankwa Kingdom are all here. I am the head of my clan. Irunze here is the head of his clan. Nebulisa here is the head of his clan. Igwe, do not bother yourself. Do not worry. We have sent for Oba, the soothsayer, to come here and tell us why prosperity has been banished from Nankwa Kingdom. Is it Oguna? Igwe. Are you aware of the information that got to me this morning? No, Igwe. You don't know? A woman of this kingdom died on her way back from Akama, <laughs> where she has gone to buy yam and cocoa yam. Oh. You know, can somebody here with me imagine this scenario? A woman of Nampo, Nampo of all kingdoms. Could that be the reason why the gods killed her? I have never said that the gods killed her. I didn't say that. You didn't hear that from me. No, I didn't. What I am saying is that I am very, very angry. Why is it happening during my time? Why? Everybody is angry. People are in agony. I ask myself, have I committed any offense? Or did I inherit any cause from my father or any of my ancestors? Why is it that now that I sit as the king, prosperity has taken a leave from now for? Why? Um, in fact, let me let me start. Good. Stand. Uh, I have to stand because my heart is heavy, very heavy. It is very heavy because of the situation we have found ourselves mm. in Nankwa. Uh, the way things are going, Igwe, huh, we will be tempted to curse the gods. Yeah, no. huh? uh, but I am not saying we should curse the gods. Yeah. Let us wait for Oba yeah. to come here and tell us here and now. Why we are where we are. Okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. We wait for more. You go. No problem. The problem in Nankwa is that our men will not allow us to go out to other lands and make new friends. You are sounding as though you want to run away. If I have the means, I will do just that. Are we not wasting away? Nankwa is under a curse and the prosperity has dried up and the progress has taken a leave from here. Our men are only lost after us and none has the money to take a wife. Things are not just right and every day that passes by, maidens of Nankwa are getting older. You are sounding more like a strange woman this afternoon. I would advise you not to allow any other person to hear this. Hmm. Help you girls to wait for me. Let me fetch so that we'll go home together. Hey, Ego. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. Hey. Hey. This is your is fine. Let me give this to you. Thank you. Chine, hey. why are you angry? Hope it does not have anything to do with your failed marriage proposal. What did he just say? Hmm. I can marry from any of the surrounding kingdoms, but can never marry from Akama, God forbid. What did you mean? We were talking about marriage before you came. Your friend here is angry because her father refused to allow her marry from Akama. If not for her father, she would have married a man from Akama. And you know what that means? <laughs> she has no class. Thank you, Mark. Hold it! <laughs> Maidens of Nankwa must not fight themselves. The problem we have in Nankwa is grave. I came here because I knew I would meet some maidens here. You are afraid. I see fear in your faces. But the maidens of Nankwa must live above fear. Go to the palace and tell the king to meet me here. You mean you want us to go and fetch the king? I say it again. The problem we have in Nankwa is grave. 
King Odera must meet me here. Wait, are you not the same Amadi that has been troubling the land? No, you go and fetch him yourself. Mm -hmm. I do not want to believe that the madness has caught up with the maidens. A man of Namkwa has given a direct message to the maidens of Namkwa. It is a taboo for you to ignore my message. Now run. Run and fetch me the king! Awake, what are you saying, Alba? Igwe. Igwe. I am seeing things. Igwe. I see too many things. But everything is awkward and extremely unclear. Oh, but don't be silly. Mm. Oh, but you should you should not be silly before the king. Mm. You are the seer of Nanfo. And the elders in council came to the conclusion that you are the only one mm -hmm. that can solve a problem. That's why they sent for you and you are finally here. Yeah. Why are you telling me that you are seeing things that are awkward and unclear? Settle down and do your work as this seer. Tell us the way forward. My eyes. Igwe, my eyes are seeing what my mouth cannot explain. How do we solve our problems? Huh? How do we solve them? We sent you here to come and tell us what our problems are. We are lost without you. Ogba, begin to see properly. Help us. There is only one man that can clearly explain what I am seeing. Yes. I see things, but I cannot explain them. We must send for this young man. He is the only one who can explain what my eyes see. Is it not clear that Tauba is only parading himself as this year? He doesn't see anything. Tauba, now who is that man that can see what you are seeing and you are not able to explain? Who is that man that can explain it for us? Because we need to send for that man immediately. Amadi! Amadi! Amadi is the only person who can see what I'm seeing and explain it clearly. Amadi has super gift of seeing. Uh, Ogba. Ogba. Are you aware that this Amadi is in exile? Thank you. Are you aware that this Amadi was sent into exile because of his wickedness towards this kingdom? Bien. Eh? Oh. You now want us to go and fetch the man who was sent into an exile as an enemy of this kingdom to come and provide solutions to our problems. The solutions uh, to face. We are lost without him. We are lost without him. Oba. The desolations we face today shall remain until we fetch him. Oba. Oba. Are you the only one living in this kingdom who is ignorant of the fact that Amadi was banished from this land? Because the elders in council concluded rightly that he is an enemy of this kingdom. Why are you finally sitting before the king as the seer of Nampo and you are advising us to go and bring the same man that is destroying this kingdom to come and solve the problem of this kingdom? How dare you make such suggestion before the king? How? I'm just a messenger of the gods. I'm just a messenger of the gods. Why are you here? We met the man that troubles the land. He said you should come to the village stream and see him. Mm. Stand up. Thank, Thank you, Igwe. You met the man that troubles the land? Yes, Igwe. Who is the man? Igwe is Amadi. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Hmm. Did I hear you say Amadi? Yes, Igwe. Igwe, 
Igwe, you said you should come and see him at the stream. It sounded like someone who has a lot to say. How will I believe that Oba has no hand in this? How will I believe? Oba, how am I going to believe that you have no hand in this mission of the, of the maidens? Why on earth will Amadi ask me, the king of Nanko, to come to the stream? Hey, that's in council. Are you not seeing it? That Amadi is still nursing his age long ambition of overthrowing this king to be the king in this land? Is she a rule that I take a subject to that? People do not conspire before the king. Igwe, we are not conspiring. Oh. <laughs> Why should we? We are only discussing the way forward. Uh, I want us to tread with caution as far as this issue is concerned. I want to understand what you mean by caution. Igwe, any problem that is bigger than Namko hmm. is bigger than the throne. And what do you mean by that? We see for yourself. Isuseya here says Amadi is the only one that has the solution to our problem. Mm -hmm. He has not finished. The maidens are here saying that the same Amadi wants to see the Igwe at the village stream. Ah, you will see for yourself now. Let us go. Let us go there and see him. Yeah. Whatever it is. Igwe, I found out what I say. I found out what I say. Oh God, oh God, Simba. I sent the maidens to get King Odera. I did not send for the elders. Who gave you the permission to come into this kingdom? Amadi? If only you can humble yourself, King Odera, I will tell you what the ancestors said. The ancestors of Nankwa cannot speak to the man who is in exile. Your Majesty, it is always good for one to glorify the ego when one sees one. Because he never can tell when next we're going to see another. Our children yet unborn will never forgive us if we fail to remedy this abnormality. Men of Nanko are not cowards. We must avoid to behave like cowards. Why is it that every time you are talking about war, talking of war, eh? we don't need war. What we need is peace. Can you define peace? What do you know about peace? When I was a child, I usually go to that farmland with my father. But today, the coarse people of Uroji are claiming that land. And here you are, telling us about peace. Go to war with the people of Uroji. Eh? Mguano. Ozogulu, my brother, you've spoken well. And for you, Mosu, there is how you reason at times. That makes me wonder if you are a man of this Nanko. Onogolu! Onogolu, you and your brother should stop insulting me. Since fat with, don't try it again. Don't dare me again. What do you consider as insult? Eh? Men of Nanko, it is only a coward that would think that war would last forever. The people of Akama are claiming our land from the north. 
And also the people of Uroji are claiming our land from the south. What then are we saying? Should we fold our arms and watch them take our land from us? No. The noblemen of this kingdom, if nothing is done, you wake up one morning and see Nanko under the blind king of Uroji. So, what I am suggesting now is war. Let us confront them once again with war. Men of Nanko, I want to make my point. If this meeting ends now, with the impression that I am a weakling who is afraid of war, then this meeting is unfair to me. I want us to know that I am not afraid of war. I fought at Nsube. I fought at Ibaji. I fought at Okija. I want to let you know that I have seen more wars than all of you. But as a rainmaker, I am supposed to be a preacher of peace and preach peace all the time. Let us seek peace. Enough of that, Wosu. What we are discussing here has nothing to do with rent making. It has a lot, more than a lot to do with it. Rent making is talking about water. Water signifies peace. Water has no enemies. Let us seek peace. Because I know that progress and prosperity only come with peace. My advice is that we send emissaries to the people of Uruaji to let them know how we feel. Let us stay away from war. I rest my case. Um, it seems the house is divided into two. Mosu seems to be alone in his doctrine of peace. Others are clamoring for wars. <coughs> I would like to stand in between. I support those who are clamoring for wars. And at the same time, I support Mosu concerning his doctrine of peace. Regarding the men of Uruji, we will not allow them to undermine our military might. What have you just done? You said nothing. You ended up saying nothing. This is one thing I hate with men of your clan. They will always want to speak and end up saying rubbish. Hold on. Are you crazy? Make no reference to my clan any longer. And if I make reference to your clan, what are you going to do? Yeah, I will Stop do what to exactly Stop. what I did to your father. Remember what happened to your house in the wilderness? What happened to your bank of yams? You recall? Stop it. Stop it. Don't tell me. This is just the beginning. There is something I want us to understand. And what could that be? In every generation, there must be men who will always stand out to fight for that generation. It will be a dent on the men of our generation if we allow the cost people of Uroji to take control of our farmland. I am a man of war. I am not afraid of war. But the problem now is how can we get the leader of the warriors to come for war? Are you saying the leader of warriors will be against the call? I don't know what he's going to do. But we need to understand that we cannot go to war without the leader of the warriors. You know what, Abaka? Leave me to handle the leader of warriors. If he fails to make the call, I will personally force him to make the call. Why are we all talking like kids? All Zogolo here is the one talking like a kid. How can he say that the warriors can go to war without their leader? How can? You know what? I want us to close this topic for now. Let us retire back to our hut and sleep over this particular issue. And I want us to meet first thing tomorrow morning, before the heat of the day, after our morning food. We shall be going to see the head of the warriors. Don't worry, I will do the talking myself. 
and I know what to tell him. Ozogolo, men that are men move after their cause. Learn to move after your God. Because if you move before your God, you are a dead man. be tired of saying the same thing. There is no need for any war. And there is nothing anybody will say that will make me support any form of war. The best thing we can do is to send emissaries to Uruaji people. Men of Uruaji are arrogant, quite all right. But we can't go to war. If we are caught them that courtesy of sending emissaries to them, there is a way it weakens them. I am a rainmaker, and I know that prosperity and progress come with rain. Mosu, I am equally against war, but we will never be afraid of war. Honestly, show me a kingdom that is afraid of war. I will show you a kingdom whose men and women are in perpetual bondage to their neighbors. Whoever makes peaceful negotiation impossible makes war inevitable. We shall go to war if necessary. But, as you rightly pointed out, we shall be very cautious. We shall be very cautious. We must not go to war against Uruaji people. Why? If we go to war against them, our ancestors will rise up against us and fight for them. No, no let's not go to that direction. Uh, let's not go to that direction. I think I'll be back when I return from Uromentiti. Eh? I'll be back. America! America! Nice. Come. Yes, go and call your brother. Let me open your eyes before it is too late. Go and get him. Come on, make one. I'm a rem maker. Rem makers are peacemakers. Clean your ears very well and listen to me very attentively. By the gift of our ancestors, we are rem makers. We did not learn it. My father inherited that stone from my grandfather and I in turn inherited it from my father and if I go the way of our ancestors one of you must inherit the stone we are rain makers and rain makers are peacemakers and there can hardly be progress or prosperity without peace. I want you to keep away from all avoidable wars. Papa, mm -hmm. I don't understand. It seems as if there's a problem. Men of Namco are planning to go to war 
against the people of Uruaji over the Obaraba farmland. I called you here tonight as my sons to tell you that we have no right to wage any war against the people of Uruaji. Emenike and Mozo, if I sleep tonight and fail to wake up, remember that I have warned you over any war against Uruaji people. But Papa, mm -hmm. you used to tell us that men that are men should never run away from wars. That's when the war is justified. We are not justified. We have no right to wage any form of war against the Uruaji people. And always remember that we owe our present day survival to the people of Uruaji. So we cannot wage any war against them. As a Golo, I want to know the reason of your visits at this ungodly hour of the night. You're sounding as if you already know why I'm here. I don't know. War with Uraji people is very imminent. And I've come to tell you to get ready for war. Osogolu, I saw Onogolu telling other members to sleep over the matter. Osogolu, the meeting has been scheduled tomorrow morning after the morning food. Osogolu, you elected not to wait for any meeting. Osogolu, you elected to move faster than your colleagues. Osogolu, why? Is there anything they can say tomorrow we can handle tonight? Obaraba farmland is our land. We must rise and silence any kingdom that want to encroach on that land. Osogolu, warmongers hardly emerge as the leader of warriors. What is the meaning of that statement of yours? The meaning of my statement, Osogolu, is that I am the one to go for war here in our land, not you. And you will never be the one. I know your office. That is why I'm here this night. This war must commence before dogs tomorrow. We shall slaughter all the men of Uroji and seize their women. Enough, Ozogolu! Enough. Ozogolu, you are a warmonger. If you must know, I am the leader of the warriors. And I am not in a hurry to go for any war against Uroji people. I'm here to tell you immediately that your tenure as the leader of warrior is about to expire. <laughs> this war is imminent. <laughs> we, if you don't call this war, we'll call it ourselves. And when we begin to fight, we shall identify you as a man of Oroji. Osogolu. 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 How many times did I call you? Our people say, what a name, I be moving on my way. It's a kami born of pushing. Also, go to be warned. Are you talking to me? Those that roast yam do not roast their fingers on the process. Also, go go ahead and call for your war. Let's see what will happen. Also, go leave my house. Also, go leave. My house. The entire ancestors of Nankwa, I invite you to come. All the spirits that support peace, I invite you to come. And in Nankwa, I call you to come. Who gave you, Ibo? I'm a man of Nanko. 
as a wine, as a mill, nine and uncle. And all ye elders that should rise and condemn abominations, I call you to gather. A sacrilege is staring me on the face. Gather. And all you elders that can stand and condemn this sacrilege, I invite you to rise. See. The things we have not seen before cannot be seen in our time. It will not happen. Ubi. Uh -huh. You're welcome. No, I know. This sacrilege must never be. Never. Ubi. <sighs> <sighs> I want to set an example with you. I am pleading with you, the king. And the elders in council, please, to spare my life. I'm a man of peace. I have not committed any offense. Don't whisper anything to me. Speak so that everybody hears. <clears throat> we are here to judge a man. I have looked around. I have not seen the leader of the warriors. This is wrong, your majesty. How can we judge a man in the absence of the leader of the warriors? Do you realize that I am the king? I recognize you as the king. And I also want you to recognize me as the rainmaker of Nangu, I am forever committed to peace and due process. I say, shut up your mouth. And for your information, Wosu, Ndibe, the supposed leader of the warriors, has been dethroned. Eh? Huh? Yes, he is a man of Uroji. And the man of Uroji must not be the leader of our warriors. Esiancha, Arweme, Alombi. Hey! Iguayalog. Iguayalog. You also dethroned the Nibe. Eh? Hey! The woman up with it. The only thing that will save you is that you must tell me the truth that I want to hear. What is your name? And where do you come from? My name is Ubak. And I'm from Uraj. You were arrested in Obaraba land. What was your exact mission there? I am a hunter. I was hunting when your men arrested me. Do you know why they arrested you? They said I was trespassing into your land. But what that means, I don't know. Are you not aware that Obaraba land belongs to us, the people of Nankwa? Are you not aware? I am a man of Uraj. And I must always hold on to the truth. What do you mean by the truth? Eh? What do you call the truth? Are you not aware that that land is our land? 
if I should die for holding on to the truth, so be it. Why are you tempting the lilies of our king? What do you mean by the truth? Our land belongs to us, the peaceful people of Uraj. It is not your land. If I should die for holding on to the truth, so be it. How dare you utter such nonsense before me? So many years ago, you, the people of Nampo, migrated from Amodala. Even the land on which you live today was donated by our forefathers. The Obaraba land belongs to us. Gods, take this man away. Go, kill him and cut him into pieces of meat to feed our hungry crocodile. Yes, yes. Kill me. Kill, kill me. Kill me, I will die. You are saying kill me. Even begin to kill me yourself. Kill me yourself. Kill me. You want kill me? Let me die for three. Ubi and Ngosu, why are you not saying anything? Have you suddenly gone blank? Open your mouth and say something about this intruder. We have the orders of the king to end your life. But I personally want to give you the last opportunity. Denounce your early statement and you shall leave to tell the story. That land does not belong to you. You are donated to you people by our forefathers. And that is the truth. I cannot abandon the truth, no matter what you took off me. The orders of the king stand. Terminate his life. Please let man of you watch. What happened today is the climax of bad judgment on the part of the leadership of Nangwa. This land is defiled and if all the elders keep quiet, I, Mwosu, the rainmaker of Nangwa, must never keep quiet. Mwosu, shut your mouth. You can't shut me down. I am the rainmaker of Namco. Deep down in our hearts, we know that we are doing the wrong thing. Why should anyone assemble the initiated men of Namco just to order the murder of a man that was telling the truth? Why must we pass? Death sentence on a man without the impute of the head of the warriors. I want all men of peace to rise up and condemn what happened as a huge abomination. Should the man of Uruj die in this land is going to be an abomination and the consequent effect would be alarming. Wosu, are you leaving? The meeting has not ended and you're walking out on the king. Where do you think you're going? I have already asked the gods to exempt my family from the abominations that are being unleashed from the throne. I am not a part of this abomination. We shall go to war against the people of Uruji. Yes, we will go to war. We shall never allow any community to take us for granted. Igwe Ayalodu, 
Iji jin ti ke na eso ezu okpu ara. Oku kon ti ke na nu even it ofe. You are biting the finger that is feeding you. We are strangers here. The man of Uruaju was right when he told you that we migrated from Amudala. Do not wage any war against the people of Uruaju. I cannot be intimidated. What he was saying happened a long time ago and has been overtaken by events. The land is our own. We own that land. We are the owners of the land. Yes, we are the owners. Igor Boyalado, you are your men have been clamoring for wars. Only those who have loved and lost can tell the agonies of a parting without farewell. Igwe. He who never remembers where the rain started beating him will never remember where he dried his body. A she goat does not suffer the pains of parturition on his tether while an adult is in the house. It is only a fly that has no advisor that usually follows the corpse to the grave. We are not the owners of the land, and you know it. Talking about history, it can take some million, millions of years, but history is history. And any kindred that does not know its history, definitely is heading for doom. We cannot wage wars against the Roger people. Remember, they have been very nice to our forefathers. The land on which we are living, they donated to us. The Obaraba, where we cultivate today, was donated to our forefathers by the Roger people. Why then should we go to wars against them? Obuayalodo, if we wage wars against the Roger people, our ancestors will definitely be against us. And the result is clear. We shall lose the war. Of course, we shall remain their slaves perpetually. Advice, do not wage wars against them. Do not bite the finger that feeds you. Yes, come back. I can see you are now a seer. My answer to that depends on your definition of the word seer. Those who have been feeding you with lies and deceiving you must have told you that I see beyond the normal human beings. Well, if that is what you call a seer, I am a seer kind of. I am living. But my, my word. Yeah. He who likes to live, let him live. I have taken a decision. That decision is to go to war. Yes, yes. we shall go to war. We must go to war. Obuayalu, your father, sent his men to kill Ndibe, the head of the warriors, because he refused to declare war on Uroji people. And then he killed my father because he stood for the truth. And he killed Mosu, the rainmaker of Nankwa, the greatest rainmaker of all times. A people must not murder their heroes. But your father murdered heroes of Nankwa. And I ask, how can we know? Peace. Uh, Amadi, uh, I want to apologize on behalf of everybody. Yes. Iruze, sorry I'll have to interrupt you. I want to ask the king right here, why did you banish me from my land? Look, uh, we cannot be adding pepe on top of injury. <laughs> hey, you see, anything can bite a man mm -hmm. in the night. That's right. But for the purpose of peace, and for this one we are here, yes. let's call everything mosquitoes. Mosquito. Yes. <laughs> All right. mm. So what do we do? What do we do? How do we heal this land? Even in the land, I see You banished me because I told you that your father was the root of the problem in Nangwa. 
I came back to Nankwa because I got the news that my people are wallowing in pain. Men and women cultivate every year with little or no result. We are seeing desolation and destruction of a kingdom that was once the envy of all kingdoms. Presently, nothing works in Nankwa. The prophecies of the Rainmaker have been fulfilled, but he was killed because he was trying to save the kingdom. I defied the security to sneak into the shrine of Aninankwa to pray last night. And the ancestors are angry that the elders are not asking questions. They spoke clearly to me. Why are you not asking questions, elders? Amadi, Oba is here. You can verify from Oba. Elders, we have been asking questions. Only today, we invited Oba the Suseya, the king and the elders in council, to ask him the way forward. He was actually speaking to us before the maidens bashed in on us to tell us that you are waiting. And what did you tell them, Oba? I was saying things. But I could not explain the things I was saying. I want to ask you just one question, Igwe. Do men use lamps in the afternoon? No. The sons of Mosu left this kingdom with the rain-making stone. And as long as that stone remains in a distant land, Nankwa will never know peace. We shall never see that reign of progress and prosperity. Never. No, Amadi, you wait. You wait. You have a part to play in all this. Only today, Oba told us that he was seeing things. He was unable to explain the things he was seeing. And he was emphatic. He said that you are the only one that could explain what he was seeing. And we were actually wondering where to get you before the maidens came to tell us that you are waiting here. You don't have to leave in a hurry. Because I believe you have something to do in all this. I want you to understand something. The order for your banishment is here withdrawn. Nigwe! You are now a free man of Namco. And you can freely come with us to the palace for us to discuss the way forward. Nigwe! And I'm surprised that you're not bothered. Bothered? Why should I be bothered? My husband said I should not be bothered, so... Can you hear yourself talk? For God's sake, Chimwendu, you encountered a goddess. Manari, I encountered a goddess in my dream, not in real life. What do you want me to do? My dear, whether in your dream or, or real life, the truth is that you encountered a goddess and she has asked you to do something. Now I'm advising you as your friend. Do what she asks you to do before she unleashes her anger on you. Be kokwa, please oh. What do you want me to do? She appeared to me and told me that I am a woman in authority and I should use my position to do something in the, in the land. Look at me. Look at me from head to toe. Am I a woman in authority? Eh? I have a feeling that I want to dare the goddess. Dare the gods? I cannot dare the gods now. Who am I? Who am I to dare the gods? Listen, I actually called you here to tell you this because I don't know what to do. If you have any advice for me, give me now. Chimwendi, if the goddess said that a woman in authority, then grab that position and throw the meeting of all the women. Simple. Eh? <laughs> me. Chinwendu, call a meeting of all the women. Who am I to do that? Would they even listen to me? Mikokwa, listen to me, my dear. Don't underestimate the ways of the gods and goddesses. Start something first and let's see how it goes. You know I'm your friend, I cannot deceive you. Start something, okay?
We must send a search party of four men in search of the sons of the greatest rainmaker of all times. One must be a hunter, the other a praise singer, and then a wrestler and a soothsayer. Namkwa will never see that reign of prosperity if the sons of Ngosu do not return willingly with the stone. Amadia, I want to seek for an important clarification. These men that we must send on this mission that you are telling us about, must they come from Namkwa? Strangers cannot embark on this mission. They must be men of Namkwa. Eras and Kansu. Igwe. He has created an opening for the possible solution to the problem we face. Now I want to ask us, where do we get these men that we can send on this mission? Your Majesty, I don't think we are going to rush the selection. With all due respect, Oba, there is no time. Ugebo Ibo, the great goddess of the stream of Namkwa has started to appear to people. And that is because she is no longer comfortable with the condition of Namkwa. Omoma Waro is a beautiful goddess, but she can be deadly if taken for granted. We must get these men urgently. I, 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 I sincerely understand the urgency of this, uh, this, this issue, but I, I, I want to ask you something. About it. Must it happen today? I am afraid, Your Majesty. But we cannot wait for another day. It must happen today. <laughs> My husband. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened today? No. What happened? <laughs> Even Ego was there when everything happened. She has first hand knowledge of everything. Don't keep me in suspense. Hmm? Tell me what happened to them that my daughter saw. Okay. Amadi made a surprise appearance at the stream today. He ordered the girls to go and fetch the king. Amadi. Hmm. You can't be serious. Hmm? Wait. Ego! Ego! Yes, mother. Come now. Ah. You've changed. Have you had your bath? Yes. Mm -hmm. hmm. You're so in a hurry to change these clothes we managed to wear together today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, tell your father what happened at the stream today. Father, he's a mad you. He told the king that his father, the late Igwe, is the cause of the problem we have in now. Why are you doing this? I don't know you. Why are you blocking my path? My name is Okuneko. Why are you such a fool? The name is Okuneko. And why are you calling me a fool? You recognize Odera as the king of Nangwa land? He is the king of my land. And I recognize him as the king. The time is coming when you will remember this meeting. And I want you to have it at the back of your head. Odera is an evil king. His father was the root of all the problems we're having in Nankwa land. Are you saying you're a man from Nankwa? You are a hunter. Hunters can always die for their kingdom. As you are ready to die for Nankwa, our land of peace, do remember that the problem that is eating Nankwa is from the father of the sitting king. Something drastic must be done before this land is consumed. Wait. Are you telling me that he told the king to his face that his father is the cause of the problem we are faced with today in this land? Yes. He was talking like someone that has a lot of power. And the king and the elders even begged him to follow the king. Did he follow them to the palace? Yes, he did. They were leaving before we started coming back. Hey! This is serious. 
the former king of this kingdom is the cause of the problem we are faced with today. Hmm. What did he do? Hmm. Do you know, I was discussing with Manawi today and she advised me to call an enlarged meeting of the women of this kingdom. Ah. God, an enlarged meeting of the women of Nankwa. So say what? What are you going to tell them? My husband, that revelation I had was not ordinary. Eh? And since the men of this, of this kingdom are just relaxed, they don't want to do anything, let me gather the women of this kingdom so we can all stand up and do something. Mm. Ha! Listen, I'm not trying to discourage you, okay? But you see, you must be careful the way you get yourself involved in the politics of this land. There are wicked men all over the place. And I wouldn't want some people to start looking at my wife. Ibn Ebu, the great man of Nanko, I bring you greetings from the throne. I greet you too. If I may ask, what is your mission here this night? The throne is waiting for you. You are the only one Igo Dera of Nanko wants to see tonight. My father ordered me never to appear empty-handed before the king. I can't see the king this night because I have nothing in my house to present to his throne. This kingdom is burning and you can't claim you don't know about this. You are part of the men that will participate in the process of healing. My husband, I think you should go and see the king. Has it got anything to do with what Amandi said earlier on today? A man that has the privilege of hearing from the king should not make inquiry from the guard. Come with me and listen to the king. Amadi, I want you to tell me the truth. Are you saying that the only solution to our problem in Nanko lies in our ability to get the sons of Mosu to return with the rain-making stone of this kingdom? If we hope to see the kind of rain that brings progress and prosperity, then we must get the stone of rain of Nanko back to Nanko. Like I said before, we do not have time to waste. Igwe, I do not know what the elders are discussing, but we must get these men urgently, and they must leave immediately. The elders are trying to resolve on the men that we are going to send. Exactly, exactly. Igwe, Igwe, I greet you. Igwe, I greet you. The elders have resolved on the first three men that will go on this very important journey. We have gotten the hunter, we have gotten the wrestler, we have gotten the praise singer. Uh, but Igwe, it, it is very difficult for us to get the fourth person, the fourth man, who happens to be the soothsayer. So the elders resolved that uh, Amadi here should uh, complement uh, the three men mm. and they represent the soothsayer. Yeah. Okay? Yes. <laughs> because he himself is the greatest seer as we now see. Yes. <laughs> Amadi, the elders of our land are making a request. Elders of our land, I greet you all. Igwe, the invitation was very urgent, but to fulfill my father's order that I should never come before the throne empty-handed, I bring you this. Thank you. You may rise. I am very much impressed. What you did is in line with the saying of our land. 
he who respects and worships the king must surely one day live like the king. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Look at your daughter closely and tell me what you see. Mama. What else do you want me to see now? I'm seeing my daughter. When you look at her closely, you will see the aura of royalty rotating around her. Mama, you said this morning, you said talking in those your funny manner. Which one is aura of royalty again? You have named her Ego. And I must say I like the name. But when she grows up, tell her that she reincarnated from the lineage of kings and that she must carry herself as princess. <laughs> Mama, first of all, I do not believe in reincarnation. Secondly, Ego is a gift to me from God. Me, myself and I. She did not come from anywhere and she's not going anywhere. She's just mine and then my husband. That's all. So let's cancel anything about reincarnation. It's not about Ego. Anyway, this is not the time for me to educate you on some of the beliefs of our fathers. The only thing I must tell you is that your daughter came from the lineage of kings. And you must always refer to her as princess. <laughs> yes. Mama, she's always my princess. My princess. She has always been my princess. Eh? <laughs> You're thinking. What are you thinking about? Ego, stand up. Walk up to that place and come back here. Why would you want me to do that? Go and do it for your mother. I want to see you. I want to admire you with the eyes of a mother. Okay. <laughs> no, go back. You do it again and again. You can just do it one more time. My daughter, you're growing so fast. Anybody that walks in here now would think we are twin sisters. Mother. <laughs> hmm. You know what my mother told me? What? She said, you look like a princess. And you possess this aura of royalty. As you grow day by day, I'm beginning to see you as a potential princess. Princess? It's mother, let me tell you something. You know, during the time of Festival of Papanta, I encountered this masquerade that was calling me a princess. And I told him that I was never a princess. But the followers insisted that I should walk up to him. What happened? Yes. And I had no choice than to do that. What? Mother, I shook the hand of a masquerade. For the first time in my life, I shook a masquerade. Eh? Hey! <laughs> I have not even finished. And they were singing to me as if I was truly a princess. I felt so embarrassed because I know who I am. I'm not a princess. They were singing for you. <laughs> More that was so hey! embarrassed. And you did not tell me. I forgot. <coughs> I forgot. Sorry. Hey, my daughter, this is very remarkable. It is only queens and princesses that are allowed to see the masquerade, let alone shake his hand. Hey, my daughter, you should have told me. This is good news. Mother, look at who I am. I am not a princess. My mother told me something. 
support. She said you reincarnated from the lineage of kings. But I don't believe in reincarnation. I still don't believe in it till tomorrow. But no matter what happens, you will always be my princess. My special princess. Thank you, oh? mother. <laughs> and you're also beautiful. Mm, you're Very more beautiful, beautiful than your mother. <laughs> hey! <laughs> You are growing big every day. <laughs> Mother, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Men who are men always see it as a great honor when they are asked to represent their kingdom. We may not be the best, but the mere fact that the elders found us worthy to embark on this mission simply means that there is something we have that can be used for the improvement of this kingdom. I am not the eldest among us, but I have been entrusted with the leadership of this mission. I thank the gods. In the next two market days, two days representing the two eyes of the high flying eagle, we shall set out on this journey. The mission, I know, will be tough. We must understand that this mission must be accomplished if we hope to solve the problem in Nangwa. I want you all to prepare your minds. I'm, I'm not trying to shy away from this responsibility. My problem is that two days is too short for us to prepare for this journey. Why would you say that? I have this woman of Akama. I have been inviting to my place for the past three months now, but she had always refused. Just this afternoon, she, she told me in total confidence that she would be coming to me in the next three market days. So in other words, you are telling us that you are declining from this mission, a mission that would bring peace to our land, all because of a woman. Are you not the same person that has been urging me to get married and are beginning to work towards it? I'm pleading that you should allow me to see this woman of Akama. After her visit, then I would be I would be free. Now, Obeche, listen to me. I don't want you to provoke me with that your baseless reasoning. Nankwa Kingdom is on the verge of collapse, and everyone has been praying for a solution. Now the solution is here, Obeche. You are now telling me that a woman from Akama is more important than Nankwa Kingdom. Obeche, are you out of your mind? I didn't say that. I just want us to... Enough, Obeche. Enough. We already accepted before the elders that we will embark on this mission. Agozi is ready. Iberebu is ready. And I am ready. Do you want to back out now? Huh? Listen to me, Obeche. Do you want to tell me that you are ready to sacrifice the resurrection of this kingdom on the altar of immorality. Huh? We live in two market days. Good. You, our ancestors, will support you. Sir. The Lord of the Hills will support you. He said, the Lord of the mountains will support you. He said, our ancestors will lead you peacefully and you shall return peacefully. He said, Nanko will know peace again. Yes, so, so shall it be. He said, he said, he said, I am happy that the elders of Namqua are here to see us off. I believe that our journey will be a smooth one. We shall go and we shall return with results. I am also aware that Ichio Godo was meant to be here, but he is not here. And he explained his reasons to Obeche. Please, tell him that we understand. And we still hold him in high regards. <coughs> Thank you, my elders. Men of Nanko, 